Voice cloning sounds like science fiction, but it's already happening, according to Leo SF and colleagues on The Conversation. The rapid development of artificial intelligence, AI, has brought both benefits and risk. One concerning trend is the misuse of voice cloning. In second, scammers can clone a voice and trick people into thinking a friend or a family member urgently needs money, for example. News outlets, including CNN, warn these types of scams have a pot the potential to impact millions of people. As technology makes it easier for criminals to invade our personal spaces, staying cautious about its use is more important than ever. Now, what is voice cloning? The rise of AI has created possibilities for image text voice generation and machine learning. While AI offers many benefits, it also provides fraudsters new methods to exploit individuals for money. You may have heard of deep fakes, where AI is used to create fake images, videos, and even audio, often involving celebrities or politicians. Voice cloning, a type of deep fake technology, creates a digital replica of a person's voice by capturing their speech patterns, accent, and breathing from brief audio samples. Once the speech pattern is captured, an AI voice generator can convert text input into highly realistic speech resembling the targeted person's voice. With advancing technology, voice cloning can be accomplished with just a three-second audio sample. While a simple phrase like, hello, is anyone there, can lead to a voice cloning scam, a longer conversation helps scammers capture more vocal details. It is therefore best to keep calls brief until you are sure of the caller's identity. Voice cloning has valuable applications to, uh, in entertainment and other healthcare, uh, healthcare enabling remote voice work for artists, even posthumously and assisting people with speech disabilities. However, it raises serious privacy and security concerns, underscoring the need for safeguards. How it's being exploited by criminals? Cyber criminals exploit voice, clo voice cloning technology to impersonate celebrities, authorities, or ordinary people for fraud. They create urgency, gain the victim's trust, and request money via gift cards while transfers, uh, wire transfers or cryptocurrency. And the process begins by collecting audio samples from sources like YouTube and TikTok. Next, the technology analyzes the audio to generate new recordings. Once a voice is cloned, it can be used in deceptive communications, often accompanied by spoofing caller ID to appear trustworthy. Many voice cloning scams cases have, been, have made headlines. For example, criminals cloned the voice of a company director in the United Arab Emirates to orchestrate a $51 million heist. The businessman in Mumbai, a businessman in Mumbai fell victim to a voice cloning scam involving a fake call from the Indian Embassy in Dubai. And in Australia recently, scammers employed a voice clone of Queensland Premier Stephen Miles to attempt to trick people to invest in Bitcoin. Teenagers and children are also targeted. In a kidnapping scam in the United States, a teenager's voice was cloned and her parents manipulated into complying with demands. How widespread, widespread is it? Recent research shows 28% of adults in the United Kingdom faced voice cloning scams last year, with 46% unaware of the existence of this type of a scam. It highlights a significant knowledge gap, leaving millions at risk of fraud. In 2022, almost 240,000 Australians reported being victims of voice cloning scams, leading to a financial loss of 568 million Australian dollars. How people and organizations can safeguard against it? The risks posed by voice cloning require a multidisciplinary response. People and organizations can implement several measures to safeguard against the misuse of voice cloning technology. First, public awareness campaigns and education can help protect people and organizations and mitigate these types of fraud. Public-private collaboration can provide clear information and consent options for voice cloning. And second, people and organizations should look to use biometric security with liveness detection, 
which is new technology that can recognize and verify a live voice as opposed to a fake. And organizations using voice recognition should consider adopting multi-factor authentication. Third, enhancing investigative capability against voice cloning is another crucial measure for law enforcement. Finally, accurate and updated regulations for countries are needed for managing associated risks. Australian law enforcement recognizes the potential benefits of AI. Yet concerns about the dark side of this technology have prompted calls for research into the criminal use of artificial intelligence for victim targeting. There are also calls for possible intervention strategies that law enforcement could use to combat this problem. Such efforts should connect with the overall national plan to combat cybercrime, which focuses on proactive, reactive, and restorative strategies. That national plan stipulates a duty of care for several providers, reflecting in the Australian government's new legislation to safeguard the public and small businesses. The legislation aims for new obligations to prevent, detect, report, and disrupt scams. And this will apply to regulated organizations such as telcos, banks, and digital platform providers. The goal is to protect customers by preventing, detecting, reporting, and disrupting cyber scams involving deception. Reducing the risk, as cybercrime costs the Australian community an estimated 42 billion Australian dollars, public awareness and strong safeguards are essential. Countries like Australia are uh, recognizing the growing risk, the effectiveness of measures against voice cloning and other frauds depend on their adaptability, cost, feasibility, and regulatory compliance. All stakeholders, government, citizens, and law enforcement must stay vigilant and raise public awareness to reduce the risk of victimization. And this is from the conversation by Leo S.F. Lin, senior lecturer in policing studies, Charles Sturt University, Dwayne Auslet, senior lecturer in policing, Charles Sturt University, and their colleagues on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.